a few weeks ago, Shopify released this great app for uh, Facebook, and it allows you to put your online store directly on your Facebook page. So the customers that you've been able to acquire with your likes and your social media campaigns can now purchase your products directly through your Facebook page and don't have to be taken away until they get to the checkout process, which is awesome because then it allows you to really convert those um, those users over very, very easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you how to add this app to your store. I'm going to show you how to set it up properly. And then we're going to do a little test and show you how we can get to uh, the checkout part. So um, my friends have this website called The Curious and The Curious sells furniture. And they have this fantastic website and a fantastic Facebook page. So we're going to connect the two together. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the Shopify app store and we're going to search for the Facebook store app. Just simply type in Facebook store uh, in the search and it'll bring you right to it. Uh, we're going to hit get app and it's going to ask you to authorize the app for your site. Um, I have already authorized the app so it takes me directly to the app in my store and asks me to connect with Facebook. So once the app is installed we're going to hit connect with Facebook and it'll ask me to connect with my Facebook account which I'm going to say OK. And then it would ask me, do it wants to manage my pages? So yes, I say OK again. When it comes up, it's going to, once it's configured, it'll ask me to add a Facebook store. So I'm going to hit add a Facebook store and it will ask me a page. So I'm an administrator on the Curious page, so I can select the Curious and hit OK. It'll connect with uh, Facebook and it will go and pull in all the information. Now, I've already gone and set this uh, up once, so it remains, it keeps my settings from previous times that I've set it up, but if you haven't set it up, I'll just go through the different pages or the different sections and explain each one that you want. So page title, this is the, the label on the button that's gonna show up on the top of your Facebook page. So if we go over to the Facebook here, we can see this one that says photos, likes, it's actually, it's gonna show up right here. Uh, likes and photos are going to move over and there'll be a shop button. So that'll be called shop. So that's the first place that it's going to show up. Uh, the second is an image. So I went and created a little tag image that I want to use as the icon for the shop. Uh, you can see here it's 111 pixels by 70 pixels high. So you can go into Photoshop, create yourself a little tag for that. The next options are the collections. So you can go and create a collection in your Shopify store that's specifically for Facebook or you can do what I've done here, which is show all the products, because I want to be able to sh showcase everything that we have for sale on the Facebook page. Uh, next, we have a banner image, which I've gone and grabbed. 808 by 200 pixels is what we want to make it. Uploaded that, and then we need to choose a layout. So number of columns, three, four, five, pretty straightforward of how many products. I only have three products on this site right now, so we're going to stay at the three columns. It makes it really great. So this is an option that Facebook has that requires you to like a page before you can actually view the store. Um, I don't like to put barriers between the clients and the stuff that I'm selling, so I never select this option, but if you're trying to gain more likes, it's possible by putting this like gateway in there, you're gonna get some passive ones. Um, I prefer to go the route of have someone look at your store, buy your product, and then like it if they want to. Um, it gives you a higher quality customer, more brand loyalty, and the whole point of this game is to build an audience rather than just blindly getting likes. So I leave that unselected. Uh, out of stock products, this is just to show all the products that we have uh, in the store. Now it won't label them that they're out of stock until they click on them and go to your store. So you can make your decision on whether you actually want to show that or not. Um, since the Curious does um, runs of like, so they'll do a series. Uh, like they'll do a spring series or they'll do a fall series. So they typically do sell out of all their products, but a lot of people want to see the old stuff that they've done. We're going to keep it on there. So it's more of like a browsing lookbook for the site. Um, the next option is the Google Analytics code. Uh, this is so that you can track um, to see how many people are going through it. Great thing to add into here. So I'm going to hit save. And it's going to post my, post my store. So now if I go over to my Facebook page and I refresh, you can see that I have this new shop button that's showing up. So if we click on the shop button, it will take us to our Facebook store. We've got a nice banner image. We've got our products that are showing up down below. Um, and then if a client clicks on one of the products, it directs us directly to our Shopify store where they can see more information, they can add it to their cart, and then they can, they can check out. 
Super great app, works really, really well, very easy to configure. It's free. Um, go to the themes or the app store in Shopify, add it to your site, and uh, let's turn some of these browsers into buyers.